Hello, this is Jeremiah with the Man Channel. One review after being off scene for a long time. This is my unboxing video. I just recently ordered a high torque, I think it was the 9300. This is a fantastic tool. This is a tool where once you own it, you can make other tools, which is a plateau of achievement. Uh, this is a 500 watt milling machine with a 9 by 4 by I want to say 16 inch working bed. Decent piece of equipment and today we get into it. <laughs> you gotta save this stuff because I've already got a project or two that I needed strapping for. Seeing that on a future video. accessories that didn't come with this. Bought these on Amazon. Uh, the little machine shop, the place I got this from, they do sell plenty of accessories. In fact, they sell this exact same set of parts, but they sell it with no name brand on it and they charge you more for it. Uh, it's AccuRemote. You can actually <laughs> eyeball this versus what's on their website. It's the exact same damn thing, except this is their real brand. Uh, what this is, is a set of digital readouts makes machining a lot easier so you don't have to count your wheel counts. Count your rotations. Boxes of miscellaneous parts. This is the prize here. Nothing damaged in shipping. All in one piece. One of the things I like about this is the fact that it, unlike some mills, comes with some grease on it with shipping to protect it, but a lot better than some, it's not shipped with the thick red coated gunk. This is pretty much ready to rock out of the box. Don't have to disassemble it and spend time cleaning it. This is a 500 horse model, or it's not 500 horse, that'd be a hell of a mill. No, 500 watt unit, no belts, solid state, DC drive, and that means it's quieter. Variable speed all the way up. Unfortunately, I didn't get the digital readouts for speed, so it's going to be take a spin and guess what scale of 2500 it is. However, since this is such a common style of mill, there are actually some prefab kits you can buy for it. For about another thousand dollars, I can turn this into a CNC mill. Start either mass production or automate tasks such as uh, building 80% AR lowers. Anywho, we'll 
do another segment in a bit when I've got it out and up on the bench, but ta-da, this is the mill.